day everyone! How are you today? I hope that everyone is doing good. By the way, I'm Mark Emiel, your music teacher for this lesson. Are you ready class? Let us now begin our lesson. Today, we will learn how theatrical elements in a selected part of a musical play are combined with music and media to achieve certain effects. At the end of this video lesson, you should be able to explain how theatrical elements are used in a selected part of a musical play. Allow me to show you a short video clip. Spin on the old carpet. Please, Princess. I don't care about your wealth or your kingdom. I only ask for the chance to get to know you better. What's wrong? Don't you trust me? You're sure I don't know you? Carpet, wait! Come on! Alright, do you know the title of the musical play that is shown in the video? That's correct, it's a musical play from Disney's Aladdin. This musical play comprises of different theatrical elements and that is our topic for today. First is performers. The performers are the people on stage presenting characters in dramatic action. Pretty Woman is the title of this video. It is a 1990 American romantic film directed by Gary Marshall. The film stars Richard Gere and Julia Roberts are the performers in this film. Next, we have the audience. An audience is a group of people who participate in a show or encounter a work of art, literature, theater, music, video games, or academics in any medium. In theatrical play, audience is the interaction between the performer and audience. This is the Opera Saratoga 2019 of Hansel and Gretel, where you will see the audience reaction after watching the theatrical play. We have different audience in every genre of theatrical play. Usually, rich audience watches classical opera while young audience is more interested on concerts like K-pop concert. Audience differs in life status, age, and even gender. We also have director. A director makes certain that the performers understand the text and deliver the script excitingly and appropriately. We have different types of director. First, we have the director. Directors are the creative leads of the film or play. They hold the creative vision throughout the whole process. Next, we have the assistant director. This director is directly in charge of overseeing all department heads and ensuring that the entire cast and crew is working on schedule. The third one is the light director. This director is responsible for the look and image that make up a movie. They need to be knowledgeable about a wide range of lighting equipment to achieve the desired mood, 
atmosphere and effects of required in each scene. Next is music director. They select music to perform, arrange performances, and work with musicians to ensure that they perform well. They lead musical groups such as orchestras and choirs. And last one we have the sound director. A sound director may be responsible for creating the sound effects for a theater performance. All the spoken lines in a movie or performance are known as the dialogue. The sound director usually supervises this element as well and makes sure the speech is clean and loud enough for the audience to hear. Next is the most important musical element, which is the theater space. This is where performers or audience come together. It is essential to have a stage or some equivalent area where actors and actresses can perform. Well, we have four types of stage. Those are proscenium art, truss, traverse, and in the round. Aside from what we have discussed, Another theatrical element is text. It is performed and it must be present for a theater to occur. Another name for the text is script. One key element for writing is conflict. This is a short clip starring Dan Stevens and Emma Watson of Beauty and the Beast where they read their script. Papa, is that you? How did you find me? Who did this to you? There, there's no time to exp explain. You, you, you must go. I won't leave you. No, no, this castle is alive. Run for your life before it finds you. And lastly, we have design aspects. Under design aspects, we have here its two types, which are the visual aspect and the non-visual aspect. First is the visual aspect. It includes costumes, lighting, and some form of scenic background. To show example, let us watch this short video clip. An example of costume designer who works together with a team doing their research, fitting, tailoring, and meeting deadlines. Because it's a very stressful environment, but you always have to be cool under pressure. And I think that's the most important, I think, attribute. On the other hand, we have the non-visual aspect. It is made of music, sound effect, foley, and dialogue. Let's have a glimpse on this short video clip. This is an example of non-visual aspect. You will see how musical director, sound director, and stage director work in a theatrical play. And that ends our lesson. I hope you enjoyed and learned. Now class, let us have a short quiz. I hope that everyone is ready. Let's start. Number one, what is the interaction between the performer and audience? Very good. The answer is audience. Next, number two. Who are the people on stage presenting characters in dramatic action? Perfect! It is the performers. Number three. What is the most important musical element where performers or audience come together? You are doing great! Theater stage is the answer. Number 4. What are the different types of director? Excellent! It is the director, 
assistant director, light director, music director, and sound director. Last number, number 5. What do you call the theatrical element that is composed of costumes, lighting, and some form of scenic background? Awesome! Visual aspect is the correct answer. If you have queries and clarification from today's lesson, feel free to send them to your music teacher through the Messenger Classroom. Let us call it a day and thank you for your time. Once again, this is Teacher Mark Engel, your music teacher saying that Many people love and understand music. Let us share and indulge this in our community. Have a good day everyone and see you next time.